AITA for locking the door to prevent my husband from getting involved in my job interview? I, F33, am unemployed but God knows I had been looking for jobs. I'm a sales rep, for well over five months, right after I recovered from my knee surgery. My husband has a high-paying job. First he suggested I leave my career as sales representative behind not up to his wealthy family's standards. They'd mocked me for it a lot. And stay home but I refused because I love my job and want to grow in it. He suggested he finds me a better job since he has connections but that's not in my field. I've had several job interviews and my husband has ruined all of them for me and here's how. He'd walk into the room whenever I'm having a potential job interview and introduce himself and take over the conversation with the interviewer. He'd tell them about how good I am but slip in some bad stuff that eventually cost me the job. His argument was that he's just making recommendations since he's connections and influence, but I told him to stop and let me handle it. He sulked saying he was just trying to guide me and whatnot. Several days ago, I'd gotten a job interview and after getting inside the room and before the interview started I locked the door. My husband tried to come in and started knocking on the door asking why I was locking the door and telling me to let him in. I put my headphones on and used noise cancelling but he kept knocking telling me to open the door. After the interview was over I unlocked the door and walked out. He went off on me calling me disrespectful and awful to lock him out like that. I said I was sorry I wanted to work for this company so badly and I couldn't let him ruin it for me. He got offended and said that I was being petty and childish and also ungrateful because of the stunt I pulled and said that he was trying to help me get the best deal out there. I said I'm not a child but he said that yes I was especially with how I behaved and for excluding him from my interview. NTA please lock down your birth control so he can't interfere with that and change all of your passwords, including the bank security questions, so he doesn't try to interfere with your job hunt in other ways. NTA holy controlling behavior your husband doesn't want you to get a job and he's purposefully sabotaging you time to leave the hubby up cuz he's throwing more red flags than a football referee nta having anyone but you enter the interview is the seal of death unless the interviewer somehow pre-arranged someone else although i've never heard of this never a family member Bit you have bigger troubles than a disagreement about how to best get a job. You've got a husband who thinks he can veto decisions about you, doesn't respect you, and belittles you, while you're deciding what to do about this. Find a different place for interviews and don't tell hubby in advance when they are. NTA. Your husband doesn't want you to get a job. IDK if it's about control or pettiness but Jesus Christ he is a grown man and not your dad. Is helicopter spouse even a thing? Ma'am what he's doing is emotional and mental abuse. You do not need that and do not need him. Run. Do not walk away from that relationship if he and his family are like that. NTA, it sounds like he's doing it on purpose to make sure you don't get the job. Is there any chance you could not tell him about future interviews and do them at a friend or relative's house? NTA, and you know this isn't about him wanting to help. This is about him trying to control you. If you truly love this dude and think this relationship is something worth attempting to redeem. This is more than enough grounds for going to couples therapy so that he can work though issues. With boundaries are telling you the truth about why he wants to help with interviews when he should know damn well at his age that his behavior is sabotaging the interview. Because, seriously, either your husband is so rich he is out of touch with how normal interview work. Or he is intentionally manipulating and sabotaging your interviews and you should be concerned that 
This isn't the only boundary he isn't afraid of crossing to get his way. Because this is such a massive red flag that if you don't think he is too rich to understand how normal jobs work, that I would be really concerned about how many other ways he sabotages your life. Seriously. What is his response to, they are interviewing me not you. And you butting into an interview and taking it over is going to guarantee I don't get a job I want? Quote. NTA and honestly if I were you. I'd be reconsidering if I want to stay with that man. He is showing blatant disregard for your boundaries. It sounds like he wants you to be reliant on him entirely. NTA and while I usually don't jump to this you need to leave your husband. He is being emotionally manipulative and it's going to go into financial manipulation next. This is just unacceptable. I literally can't think of anything that would make me think you should stay in this relationship. NTA. Get a new husband as well as a new job. NTA. He's being financially controlling and this is a real scary pattern. With his follow-up that you, re-behaving like a child? Red flags everywhere. Up. Holy hell this is bad. Is he insane? You don't bring your mom, kids, or spouse to an interview. The real question is why he wants to sabotage you. If you have other interviews try to do them elsewhere so he can't bang on the door or interrupt. NTA. But your husband is? This is grounds for divorce. NTA. NTA he is trying to make sure you don't have an income so you will be completely reliant on him. It's abusive and will probably get worse. He is sabotaging you and you need to not go through him anymore. Save up and get out. He is too likely to get worse and be more and more abusive. NTA. Excluding him? It was a job interview. Not a family trip to Disneyland. He's very obviously sabotaging you. In the most disrespectful and condescending manner to boot. NTA. It was the only way to keep him out. Your husband sandbagged all your other interviews and called you childish and petty for having to. Make certain he didn't blow this one. Why are you with someone who calls you names? Why are you with someone who sabotages your life? Why are you with someone who allows his family to mock you? Why are you with someone who gets offended for being called on his bad behavior? Yeah, he just wants to ruin your interviews to keep you at home. NTA. Oh hell no. Most definitely NTA. Your husband was sabotaging your interviews on purpose. And further to that, he is the one who was being childish. Knocking and knocking on the door whilst you were in your interview? WTF. Remind him it's your interview and not his. What an awe he is. Really. My soul just cringed after reading this. You poor, poor woman. NTA. He's sabotaging you deliberately and he's pissed he couldn't do it again as you locked the door. I wish I could afford to send you a muffin basket to go with the metric ton of pity I'm giving. You mentally right now. I'm staring at the screen like it's a spoon and I'm Uri Geller. Your husband is a jerk. Not one person in the history of job interviews has ever been hired when an uninvited family member jumps in to join the interview. That's totally unprofessional and your husband knows it. He isn't helping. He is knowingly sabotaging you and then calling it help. NTA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.